Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash back with another valuable video for you. Now, another subscriber's request was how to trade Forex. Uh, so I decided to show you guys, you know, exactly, you know, how to trade Forex for beginners or whatever. Um, but like I said, the stock market is usually, you know, a place that makes a lot of you know, successful and wealthy people. So it's definitely a strategy worth learning. I would tell anybody to learn this. The, one of the best things about it is you don't have to recruit anybody. It's pretty much you make money by yourself. Um, and, you know, you don't have to worry about anybody's effort. It's just pretty much off your own effort and knowledge. So um, you can go to fxglory.com. And I usually just use FX, FX Glory to trade demo. Um, you could also use Trader's Way to trade demo as well. Um, but I on when trading live um, every now and then I might use FX Glory, but I use uh, TradersWay.com. But like I said, you can go to FX Glory, uh, click on uh, open a demo account, you know, download the MetaTrader 4, which is this right here. Okay, this is what is called the MetaTrader 4. So once you download it, uh, you can open up a demo account like I'm in now because this is a demo account. I have to keep saying that because some, for some reason people keep commenting on my videos like, oh, yeah, it's just demo. Duh, I said it was demo. <laughs> okay. Um, but, yeah, once you get everything started, guys, it's very simple. Um, your chart will look something like uh, this one here. Okay, so it'll look something like this. The first thing you want to do when you get on here is right click, go down here to properties. Okay, and then, well, before you go there, before you do that, right click again and click grid, take the grid off. Those are those lines right there. Okay, you want to take those off, and then you want to come and do right click again, go to properties, and then you can go in here and you know change these colors, right. So, uh, let's see here. The bull candle black, so we want to change that to, you know, we want to change that to green. So we'll do a lime green on the bull color. And then the one that's white, we want to change to red, okay, on the bear candle color, right? And then the, um, let's see here. And that should be good okay so then once you zoom in now you can see you know the difference so your red candles these are called candlesticks for those of you who don't know some a lot of you already do so uh, but your red candles indicate a sale because it's going down so that's what you see right here if you don't have this up here all you have to do is right click and click on one click trading and then this box will pop up but this is how you can place you know a sell or a buy now the same way with uh, Nadex that I showed you guys before Forex is just as simple guys the best thing about Forex is you can literally tra trade with you know um, you, you can literally trade 10 cents 20 cents uh, things like that so it's really cool um, so what I was saying about the candlesticks is the red is symbolizes a sale Okay, so when you pick, you know, sell, you say the market is going to go down. When you pick buy, you say the market is going to go up, which indicates the green, right? Now, a lot of people lose a lot of trades because they do a lot of guessing, okay? If you guess in the markets, that's called gambling. And if you're gambling, you're going to lose, right? There's a chance that you can win a couple because you get lucky. But for the most part, if you don't know a strategy, then you're going to lose a lot of your trades, right? And so what I usually tell people is practice in a demo first, okay? Find out some strategies. Once you get those strategies, then you will be able to trade on a live account, right? It's very, very simple, guys. So like I said, the basics of Forex is sell or buy, right? What is the market doing right now? Okay, if we back up and we look at these patterns, sometimes you need to back up, see what the market is doing, right? Okay, it's, it looks right now like it was in a downward trend. It looks like it's starting to head up. But I'm actually on a, the four hour chart, so I, most of the time I go to the 15 minute chart. So let's back out on here. Okay, so that gap, okay. So we see the market was in a downward trend right here. And now, then it rose back up, it retraced, rose back up. Okay, so now it's, it's slightly in an upward trend right now, guys. 
right? So the market is still going up. But I wouldn't necessarily place a buy off of that, you know, not necessarily at this point because there's still a lot of other things you need to look at. I'm just giving you guys the basics, guys, because my chart, as you can see, looks, you know, I have a lot of different things on my chart, right? And these are indicators that you can, you can pay for. Um, I do have the indicators. If you guys want to purchase these, email me or text me. Uh, but these are these are not free indicators. And um, just like this, this TDI method is a method that I absolutely love. Okay. And see, what happens with the TDI method is you see this green line right here. Okay. We call this green line the shark. This blue line and this blue line here indicates the water. Right. This is how I trade a lot of my trades, uh, and then I'll show you a couple of different other methods that you can do. But this is with these indicators. So let me see if I can find uh, a couple of setups so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Looking for some setups. And most of the time I tell people, do not trade unless you see setups. If you don't see any setups, then do not trade because you will lose, all right? Only trade when you see setups, right? Okay, so for instance, guys, when the shark, you see this shark? So we do the shark fin, right? You know the, the fin that's at the top of the shark? I call this the shark. So when the shark is out of the water, you see the blue? When the shark is out of the water going, you know, above the water, coming out of the water, then we'll place a sail because it's getting ready to go down. And if you notice, anytime you see a shark out of the water, the market always goes down, okay? Anytime you see a shark out of the water, this is the way that I trade. This is what this is the set, some of the setups that I look for. See, the market right here, out of the water a little bit, start going down, right? If you notice, anytime you see a shark out of the water, going down, and you can see it right here in the markets, right? Shark out of the water, going down. So this is one of the, the, the uh, techniques that I uh, use to win you know, a lot of my trades. Same way with here. When the shark is out of the water uh, on below, you know, when he's deep in the water, you know, and going you know, to the bottom of it, past the, the water right here, which is the blue line, then the market is going up. And anytime you see the shark uh, below, the market goes up. So you could have caught these pips here. And then you could have waited and then caught some more all the way here. Once you got here, you would have sold it. You would have uh, got out of the markets and then put a sale in and rolled the market all the way back down. This is how you get a lot of pips um, in the market. It's how you get a lot of, you know, um, you know, a lot of money, right? So that's just one technique, guys. This is, this is just, I'm just showing you one of the techniques that I use to get a lot of, you know, of sale. I mean, that's not sales, but to make some good money when I do trade on here. But I, I usually do a lot of demo, guys. I'll tell you, practice a lot of demo for the simple fact that you need to learn, right? You have to learn. And so I have other indicators here. So this blue box here is an Asian session, right? This middle here, this is stop hut zone, but this here is um, the London session. So this this session here opens around three o'clock in the morning. They usually tell people, you know, to you know trade the London session through the New York session. This red box is a New York session. Okay, so I'm just giving you guys basic stuff right now. Um, it's it's kind of advanced and basic at the same time. But so the but these indicators you won't have on yours because you actually have to purchase these. So if you guys want these indicators, um, you know, contact me. But um. This is how you can measure, you know, your pips and how much money you make, right? So let's see, from from this box to this box is around, you know, 90, 91. Oh, I'm a little further out. It's around 91 pips. So that's what it tells you right here. You see these 23.9? That's 23 pips right there. You know, 90 pips from here to here. So you can measure your pips as well when you're doing, you know, let's say you caught this drop. You can measure it as well. And the number that you're looking at is the middle number. So that's 22 pips right here. That middle, the middle number, not the 54, but the 2284. You're looking at the 22. So that's 22 pips right there that you would have caught. Now, 
if you don't understand that, you know, you might have to uh, YouTube what is a pip and all that because I don't really have time to explain all this stuff right now all day long. But um, let me explain this. This right here is your lot size, guys. Okay. Now, when you're first starting, you know, to trade, like in the demo, you can do, you know, $1 lot size. But $1 is equivalent to $10 in the market. Okay. So anytime the market moves, it's going to move $10 if you do $1. So it's safe. When you first start trading, guys, listen up close. When you first start trading, it's best because most of you will have a smaller account. You'll probably upload around, you know, fifty to maybe three, four hundred dollars um, when you start first start trading. It's best to do one cent, okay? Because that's equivalent to, uh, you know, ten cents in the market, right? If you do ten cents, so let me come up here. If you do 10 cents, this is equivalent to $1. If you do 20 cent, 20 cent in the market is equivalent to $2, meaning when you hit that buy button, if you catch, let's say you was trading 20 cent lot size, right? So let's say you caught all of these pips right here. You caught around, you know, 21 pips, right? So it'll be 21 two dollars times 21 right so I'm putting this in my calculator you know I don't feel like doing math right now <laughs> so basically from here to here you would have made around forty two dollars off of you know twenty cent basically is basically what I'm saying so you will make you would have made twenty I mean forty two dollars off twenty cent right which is crazy so literally when you see um you know people trading and they have you know a 10 cent lot size or a 1 cent lot size and then on the profit side they made around you know 4 to 500 dollars then they caught you know a lot of pips right and so the market is dope guys i love it you know what I mean? But I tell people to practice a lot because you don't want to trade off your emotions. That's how a lot of people lose. So continue to practice in the demo. And also, um, when you trade, you know, you can set your stop losses and all that stuff. But all this stuff I have on here, you won't have. Like right here, these these this blue line right here is the high of the day. Uh, this blue line right here is the low of the day and things like that. Uh, you got your ADR which is your average daily range. And I don't really have time to explain too much of all that stuff, but you know, the basics that you guys just need to know is to look for, you know, M's and W's in the market, right? So anytime you're trading, you know, you want to look for M's and W's because what I mean by that is do you see this right here? This is an M. When you see an M, that means the market is going down. But you always want to trade the second leg of the M, right? So let me come right here. So what I mean by trading the second leg of the M, you see this right here. This is the first leg of the M. Goes up and it's getting ready to come back down. You see how the shark is out of the water? You see what I'm saying, guys? Goes up, shark out of the water. You know it's about to go down. Trade that second leg. You're good to go. Okay? So that's just basic stuff. Um, you can also trade moving averages and things like that. Uh, but like I said, it goes real deep. It's just a lot of studying that you got to do. Uh, I Don't be so quick to throw money in here because you feel like it's a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not, guys, and you can lose a lot of money. Uh, only trade with money that you can afford to lose. Do not trade with your rent money and none of that type of stuff uh, to try to get a quick profit. You know, be, you know, um, you know, y'all know. I ain't got to explain that to y'all. Y'all grown. But, um, so like I was showing y'all guys the other day in my demo, of course, demo. People be hating because I be trading in the demo. Man, you got to practice, man. You got to practice. Practice makes perfect, man. You practice how you play. You play how you practice, I mean. But like I said, when I first opened up the demo, it was at $5,000, right? So I started trading. I lost this first one. I lost $38. But then, as you can see over here, I won $30, $130. And then the profits start getting serious. Oh wait, let me go. Let me come. Let me come down. Then 140, 140, 140. Then I won 588, 587, 587, 587. Now the account is at 7,491, y'all. 
So, this is demo, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to trade some real live stuff for y'all and let y'all see. But I made $2,000, as y'all can see right there. But other than that, that's the basics. If I helped you, hit that like button, subscribe, and catch you in the next video. Peace!